This tutorial is meant to go with a Cisco CCNA curriculum, um, CCNA2 routing protocols type curriculum uh, coordinated with um, Chapter 3 in the uh, routing and routing protocols um, CCNA curriculum. Okay, the goal in this, this is uh, mapping essentially to what we would have in a CCNA like in a skills integration challenge where they give you a picture of the network and they want you to subnet this network. Okay, so in this picture um, they've told you that you, they need you to subnet this network right here and this network right here and this network right here and this network right over here and they've given you um, basically um, they've given you the network address spaces to use in subnetting the network so you're supposed to start with let's say this network address and divide it up into one two three four networks of 5,000 hosts each and starting with this network address you need to divide it up into two networks of 30 hosts each these guys represent switches right and these are connected to routers and so each connection to the router is a separate network so we've been given one network address we need to divide it up into one two three four subnets um, and with this one we've been given um, one network address and we need to divide in two subnets and then the same thing here and here and I'm going to show you how you would go about doing this um, using some subnet some basic subnetting skills okay so we'll start over here at router one here's R1 this is router one we've been given the 192.168.2.0 address space and we need to divide it up into one two three four subnets four networks of 60 hosts each. So I'm going to show you how we go about that. Well, I've got my little notepad here, and I'll bring this up here. First of all, I want to talk about the way to do this. So um, what we can do is, by doing this, we can figure out what we're going to subnet it into by using my what's called uh, the magic number scheme. And the magic number basically says the binary um, place values in a binary number system of 8 bits um, one here's 8 bits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that each bit has a place value so this one right here is the 128 bit why because this one in place value is 2 to the 8th uh, power or 2 to the 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8th power which is 128 and this 0 right here represents uh, 2 to the first power or 0 right or um, actually uh, 1 in the binary um, sequence so first place value is 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 and 128 right so by finding the magic number we can subnet this network so let's do that right now um, what is the subnet mask that we're gonna need well right before you right here you'll see that what I've got is a slash 30 subnet mask and in a slash 30 subnet mask the last bit borrowed the last one is the uh, magic number and in this case it's one two three over which would be a four and given a four that means the networks would go up by four and then the zeros represent how many hosts we would have and we would have just four hosts or two to the second power two places number of hosts so that would not be enough hosts for 60 hosts in each network and you can see here that we need 60 hosts in each of these subnets so the way that we do that is we'd say well okay which one which one of these magic numbers is going to work well 64 is the magic number that would work and it's two places over so one two okay so it would be this one right here is what we would need so we would turn these guys right here into zeros so zero 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 so now I have one two three four five six zeros and two ones this last one is the magic number which is a 64 right so this would be a slash 26 network why there are 26 ones borrowed 
the number would be 255, 255, 255. And over here, this would be 128 plus 64, which would be 192. And this would be a slash 26, which would equal 64 hosts, 62 of which would be usable because the first host address will be the network number and the last host address will be the broadcast address. So now we can create our networks. All right, our networks would be in this case 192.168.2.0 would be the first network. The second network would be and I'll just copy and paste, copy and paste and paste and paste 0 64 128 and 192. Each one of these would be a slash 26 network. So now we've taken the 192.168.2.0 network slash 24 and divided it into four networks. The first network is the 2.0, the next network is the .64, the ne next network is the .128, and the next network is the .192. And they are all now, instead of slash 24, slash 26. So this would be your, your four subnets that you've created, and each subnet can have the magic number, number of hosts. So the magic number in this case was 64, and so we'll have 64 hosts in each of these networks. And you can see that, quite frankly, it goes from 0 to 63, right? And this one will go from 64 to 127. 127 will be the broadcast address. 63 would be the broadcast address for that network. And then in this one, it would go to 191. And this one would go to um, plus 64 would be go to 255. All right, and once again, these would all be slash 26 networks. All right, now, it's going to get a little more difficult when we go to this next network, and in this next network, we need to also have four networks that we need to subdivide from a 172.20.0.0 slash 16. Okay, we need to divide this address space into four subnets of a thousand hosts each. And to do that, the magic number scheme is not going to work as well because we're no longer just going to be in this fourth octet over here. So to calculate that, I use a different method. And here's the method that I use for calculating um, a thousand hosts and four networks. Well, if in, in subnetting, the ones represent the network numbers and the zeros represent the number of hosts. Okay, and in a regular, um, in a regular 255.255.255.0 subnet or network mask, right? That's what I have here, right? 255, all these ones, 255, all these ones, 255, all these ones, and then the zero, which are all these zeros. This is a slash 24 subnet mask, class C subnet mask, and you have 256 hosts, right? That's normal. Well, if we change this, right, and we say, no, what we're going to do is, I'll copy this, copy, and paste. And instead of having um, just eight zeros at the end, we add an extra zero here. Now, we've got a slash uh, 23. We have a slash 23 subnet mask and the number of hosts will double. So that'll be 512 hosts, right? And then we can just keep on going up, and every time we go up, it's going to double. So copy and paste, and I'll change this to a zero, right? And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten zeros, or two to the tenth power of zeros, and now that's going to be 1,024 hosts. Okay, and so you can see that this is very useful um, just by adding the more, as we add more zeros each time, the number of hosts double. So if I take this line 
and copy it and paste it and then another zero now we have 11 zeros oh and by the way this is now slash 22 slash 21 now we have 2048 hosts okay and why is this slash 21 because you just count the ones and that tells you how many ones here eight ones here 16 17 18 19 20 21 ones 2048 hosts and I'm going to keep going because I'll use this later we're going to need this later as we go up to and divide it to 5,000 hosts per network. So this one would be 4,096 hosts on a slash 20. And there we go. And one more time. Copy and paste. And this one will be... 8,192 hosts in a slash 19 each time it doubles network, right? Why? The host equals the number of zeros. So we have here, we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 zeros. 2 to the 13th power is 8,192. We have 8, 16, 19 ones, it's a slash 19. And if we wanted to, I could write all these out in um, decimal format too. So the one we're interested in right now is, let's say, this 1,024, right? So what would the 1,024 be? We'll just go like this. In decimal, the 1,024 would be 255.255.2. Let's see here, dot two five two dot zero. And how do I know that? Well, this is two five five, this is another two five five, and then if we add these together, right, these ones here, if we add, this is what they represent. 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4, we get 252. All right, so we would use this for our next network. So for this network right here of 172.20.0.0 slash 16, it's going to be 172.20.0 will be the first network, dot zero dot zero that is, and it's going to be a... Um, slash 22 slash 22 uh, and that would equal 1024 hosts which is just enough to have a thousand hosts per network it's 22 over 24 over copy and paste and what would the next networks be well what is the magic number on that subnet? On that subnet, slash 22, the magic number is right there. The last one borrowed is in the fours place. It's one, two, three binary digits over. The place value is a fours place. So the networks would be 172.20.0, and this one will be dot four network, and there's an eight network, and there's a 12 network. So. 0, 4, 8, 12. And so those will be the network addresses for this, um, for this R2 subnetted into four networks of 1,000 hosts each.